Uh, Boo, it looked like you had an interaction with Coach Woodson after the game. Do you mind telling us what you guys were talking about just after that uh, hard fought game? With who? Coach Woodson? Yeah. No, no, I remember. I know who. I know who Coach was. I don't remember talking to him. <laughs> I don't remember talking to him at the end. Honestly, I don't think I did. Uh, yeah. Next question. <laughs> uh, it seemed like you missed a couple of three short. Were you just a little tired out there? You play a lot of games in uh, a lot of days. Uh. You know, I mean, I missed a couple of them short. Uh, I just think it had to do with some of my balance. And uh, on some of them, I was a little deep. I could have got a, a little bit closer to the line. And, uh, you know, maybe those would have went in. Question in the middle. Uh, you were really getting downhill off of the triple handoff. Was that kind of the goal from the jump or to, like, kind of attack Indiana's depth? Or you just always try to look for that in games? I mean, yeah, my goal is to always try to get two feet in the paint. Uh, when I get the ball, like on a ball screen or handoff, uh, it's for me to get downhill and uh, make a play. So that's what my goal is every time, whether that's getting all the way to the rim or, you know, kicking and finding an open guy. Question the back, right? Um, on that big floater that you had that pretty much like put the game away towards the end, I think I saw you hit your defender at the two small celebration on that one. Um, I'm just wondering, uh, is that one you've broken out a lot before? Cause that, it's the first time I remember seeing you do it. Uh, you know, that was just, I'm just a very passionate player, so I was just celebrating in the moment. Uh, I made a good move, got to my jump stop, bumped them off, you know, made the little float. Celebrated. Question in the middle? Yeah, um, after one of your big buckets to really close out the game, you were absolutely hyped up. What was going through your mind as you sealed this win? Yeah, I mean, I was hyped up just – Obviously, all the, uh, I'm a junior now, so just all these years, over the years, man, like winning in this league is hard, as everybody knows. So when you go out there and, and you win around, you know, you got to celebrate. How did you find out about um, all of Indiana's uh, lineup adjustments, and how did you personally kind of adjust to that? Uh, I didn't have it. I didn't have, like, an idea of what was going on uh, until before the game started. They changed my matchup. Uh, I wasn't. I still didn't know what. I still don't know what happened. Uh, but after about, I mean, after the first half, and no, they like didn't sub anyone. Then I knew something was up. So I'm like, yeah, these guys aren't playing. Uh, but we weren't really too focused about that. Like I said, we didn't really know. You know, we were just coming out uh, ready to play them as a full team. Uh, so that's what we did. And you, you talked about your offensive game already. Could you talk about how important the defensive team effort was in this game? Yeah, I mean, defense was really important. Uh, we, uh, we, we were really struggling in the first half offensively, shooting from the field. Uh, second half was a little bit better, but still even the whole, the whole game really came down to our defense. Uh, it was like a, what was the final? It was in the 60s. Uh, you know, we've we've been a team who's been putting up uh, more than that uh, most games. So, uh, you know, when you're not making those shots, the defense is really, really how you're going to win those games. Question in the back. Um, How did the atmosphere with the students and everything help you guys out tonight? The students are great. Uh, I think that's what makes me uh, even more passionate. You know, if it was an empty building and I do something and there's no noise after, then it might not be as exciting. Uh, but the... The wild side is definitely there in effect, uh, helping us a lot. Uh, we need them every game. Time for a couple more questions. Right over there. Uh, your old teammate, Miller Cop, obviously, down in Indiana. Now, what was it like just to see him again? Was it weird to see him wearing the other jersey kind of thing? I mean, yeah, it was weird. So I didn't really come in with Miller. I'm a, a year younger. So the, the guys older than me uh, had a, a better connection. Uh, Miller's cool. Uh, but it was just weird seeing him in red, honestly, like just on another team, like about to, like I played against him millions of times, but you know, just seeing him like in person, like, cause hearing about him transferring and going somewhere is different than actually seeing him on the court, like playing against him. Uh, you know, you used to be trying to build with him, but now you're, you're trying to defend him and play against him. Uh, and we actually were able to do a pretty good job on him tonight. Uh, yeah, wish him the best of luck. Time for 
one more question in the middle. Um, so this is three and over our wins. What kind of boost does that give you going into Illinois? I mean, yeah, you know, we're just taking one game at a time. Uh, so we're going to come back. Off, uh, we have an off day tomorrow, but we're going to come back after that, prepare for, for Illinois on the road. Uh, you know, they're a tough team, but uh, they're beatable. Wrap us up. Thanks, Bill. Thanks.